देखने भगवान का इंतजार से अच्छा चंद्र
Can the drum be stopped now? We are coming. Hare Krishna. Everybody, please take your seats. We wanted to start the program. Can the drums be stopped right now? Can the drums be stopped? Hare Krishna! PG Prabhu, can you stop the drums? Everybody, please take your seat. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so very much. We will start the program first with the Guru Puja to His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. This Guru Puja will be led by His Grace Vaisheshika Prabhu. Let's start the Guru Puja and then let's begin the program today. Somebody give me a drum. That's all you got? Okay, well, thank you. This is something. Those are from 1976. <laughs> Jaya Prabhupada. 
Prabhu Jaya Prabhu Jaya Prabhu Pada. Shri Guru Charana Padma Kevala Bhakati Sadma Bando mui sava dana mate. Jahara prasade bhai bhavatori jai. Krishna prapti hoy jaha hoy te Krishna prapti hoy jaha hoy te Guru Mukha Padma Vakya Chitete Korihya Oikya Guru Mukha Padma Vakya Chitete Kori Aikya Anna Kori Ho Mane Asha Arna kori ho mane asha Shri Guru Charane Rati Eshe Yutamagati Guru Charane Rate Yeshe Utamagati Je Prasade Pure Sarva Asha Jai Prashade Pure Sarva Asha Shakudan Dilo Jai Janme Janme Prabhu Shai Shakudan Dilo Jai Janme Janme Prabhu Shai Dibya Gyan Hrde Prokashito Dibya Gyan Hrde Prokashito Prima Bhakti Jaha Hoite Abhijja Binasha Jate
प्रेम भक्ति जा होते अभी जा विना से जाते बेरे गाय जहर चरित बेरे गाय जहर चरित श्री गुरु करुणा सिंधु आधाम जनार बंधु श्री गुरु करुणा सिंधु आधाम जनार बंधु लोकनाथ लोके राजीवाना Lokana, Lokera Jivana Ha ha, Prabhu Kora Doya Deha More Parachaya Ha Prabhu Kora Doya Deha More Parachaya E bejash kushi krubu vana E bejash kushi krubu vana Ha ha prabhu kora doya Te ha more para chaya Jaya Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Jaya Prabhu Pada. Jaya Jaya Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Jaya Jaya Prabhu Pada. Namma Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Sri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavari Pashtatyarishatarine Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shivasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, 
Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Jai Om Vishnupad Paramahamsa Pari Raja Kacharya Stuta Rishi Shimad Apai Charanada Vinda Bhaktivedanta Sai Maharaj Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai Om Vishnupad Paramahamsa Pari Raja Kacharya Stuta Rishi Shimad Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Ko Sai Maharaj Ki Anantakoti Vaishnavindi Ki Nama Charya Shila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Prem Zagaho Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vasudhi Gaur Bhakta Vinaki Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopopinath Shamakund Radhakund Giri Govardhan Ki Shri Vrindavan Dham Ki Shri Mayapur Navadip Dham Ki Shri Jagannat Puri Dham Ki Tulsi Devi Bhakti Devi Ki Jamuna Devi Ganga Devi Ki Sambeta Bhakta Vinaki all glories to the symbol devotees. All glories to the symbol devotees. All glories to the symbol devotees. Go pray, Manande Haribo. <coughs> Hare Krishna. Please, devotees, take your seat. We're going to start the program. Please, everybody, take your seat. Please give seats to Srila Prabhupada disciples. The first and second row, please be considerate. Everybody in the front should take a seat. We can have photo sessions later, selfies and other things. We can do it later. Please take your seat. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvi Sesha Sunyavadi Pashtate Shatharine Ajano Lambito Bujau Kanakavadato Sankita Nekipitro Kamalaya Daksho Vishwambaro Dujabaro Yugadharma Palo Vande Jagat Priyakaro Karunavataro 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 Krishna Todi Yapadapanka Japanjarantam At Eva Vishutame Mana Saraja Hamsa Prana Prayana Samaye Kapavada Pittai Kantavaro Danavido Smaranam Kutaste Smaranam Kutaste Smaranam Kutaste Hare Krishna Srila Prabhupada Ki! No. Thank you all so very much for coming and participating on the first day of the celebration of the grand Narsingadev Maho Utsav, the grand festival here in the temple of Vedic Planetarium. Very, very happy to have the whole family of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness here in Sridhar Mayapur at the Temple of Vedic Planetarium. We are very, very grateful to all of you and we thank you for coming and participating in this program. I'm going to give a little bit the schedule of today's program. We had a grand procession. The flag hoisting ceremony was done. Now we will have opening address. We will have opening address by His Holiness Jayapataka Swami Maharaj, His Holiness Radhanath Swami Maharaj, His Grace Ambrish Prabhu, the chairman of the Temple of Vedic Planetarium, and we have Her Grace Swaha Mataji, who have designed this whole Temple of Vedic Planetarium the interiors. So we would now request all the 
distinguished speakers, His Holiness Radhanath Swami Maharaj, Swaha Mataji to come on stage and take their seats. We are waiting for His Holiness Jai Pataka Swami Maharaj to come and address. So before His Holiness Jai Pataka Swami Maharaj comes, Maharaj, can you come and take your seat, please? Swaha Mataji, can you please come and take your seat? So we would like to start with His Grace Ambrish Prabhu. Ambrish Prabhu got this instruction from Srila Prabhupada to finance this project which he would describe in detail. From that time till now, whatever you see, whatever you are going to see, whatever will be seen in the future, it's all his dedicated loyalty and service to His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. There is only one thing which is constantly in His heart and mind, how to please Srila Prabhupada. How Srila Prabhupada will be pleased by His endeavor. This is what He is thinking day in and day out. He is very, very eager to see this temple completed, by 2025 end or 2026, the beginning of 2026, a grand celebrations. Very, very fortunate, very fortunate to have him as the chairman of this project. And he used to often say, finally he got a job to serve his divine grace in the biggest way possible to attract the people of the whole world to Sridham Mayapur. So now I would request Ambrish Prabhu to speak a few words and inspire all of us in this ceremony, the Narsingadev festival ceremony which is happening in the temple of Vedic Planetarium. When he comes, please give him a big hand from your heart for all that seva which he has done for Srila Prabhupada. Amrish Prabhu, now it's your turn. Please say a big Hari Bol. Hare Krishna. Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Vastaya Bhutale Shimati Bhakti Vinata Samaniti Amane Namaste, sir, so the evil girl, when he returned, he never says us, and he was a postgetari, sadarane. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nithananda, she had wait to get that, she was the Gorbak Dimanda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. So, welcome. I'm like utterly flabbergasted and amazed that we are at this point. We have arrived at this point uh, in this project. I, you know, in the beginning, uh, we really started seriously. Uh, there were three of us, Sadbuj, myself, and Bhavananda. And we sat down after the West Bengal government had stymied us, stopped us cold in our tracks. And we sat down and thought, we have 25 acres unmolested. It's owned by ISKCON. Let's look at Srila Prabhupada's desires for a temple and the parameters of his design and come up with a plan for the, the campus that where the TLVP sits right now. And the GBC graciously uh, sanctioned our plan and we've been moving forward ever since. So it's been a very, it's been a challenging course from the beginning. I remember the first 
few days. Uh, we had to take out the palm trees that were in, the, in this area, and boy, did we get some feedback on that, I'm telling you, you know? So, uh, devotees are never at a loss for words, probably you all know. <laughs> so anyway, but uh, for the most part, it's been support coming from every corner of the earth, uh, and so we're very happy, and here we are today with this opening, and very happy to see so many faces, so many I don't recognize, but many I do recognize, so welcome to Sri Mayapur in the Temple of the Vedic Planetarium, and especially the Nishringadev Temple, uh, my wife and her partner Rangavati have been working on a daily basis. Uh, <clears throat> you know, to make this a reality, this design. And they got into so many details of the design, you'll see it tonight. And uh, it was amazing. I don't have the patience for all that, but they had it, and they spent so much time to do it. And we had supporters from all over the world. You see up here all the Nishingade bricks that were sold. And uh, so it's been a monumental challenge and uh, the devotees from all over the world have helped step forward to help. And I especially want to mention my uh, friend, best friend, Brajavilas Prabhu. He has been here for many years and I bless him every day because I don't know how I, I couldn't have done it without him. He's got all the stamina and the energy that, well, much more than I used to have. So he's a blessing, a real blessing. So we're very happy. Yeah, let's have a round of applause. Let's be last for you. He gets a bad rap sometimes. <laughs> but he's a wonderful devotee. So I wanted to welcome everybody here to Sri Mayapur to the Temple of the Vedic Planetarium. I don't know how many people are here, but this temple hall was built to be able to hold 10,000 devotees during Kirtan. So we may be close to that at this point. Uh, and uh, Panchatatwa is in the middle there. That's what Srila Prabhupada wanted. Radha Madhava, the Guru Parampara, and the six Goswamis. So every, everyone is here. And it's a wonderful, wonderful space. And we want to welcome everybody to see how beautiful it is. And you'll see tonight in the Shringadev Temple that that is really stunning. I was surprised when I saw it. Uh, you know, I know they have been putting a lot of work in, but this, it's really astounding. So we're very happy to be here. And uh, we're very happy that this project is moving forward. And I'm sure that Srila Prabhupada is pleased with this effort. He told me in 1976 at David Sedan Mandir in Detroit, he was describing the TLVP and the Vedic Planetarium and the different, you know, how it would present different aspects of Vedic science. And uh, so there were a few of us sitting with him. Uh, it was myself, Hari Sari was there, and a few other people. Uh, but, uh, you know, he, uh, he turned to me at the end and he said, you have to be very careful what you say in front of your spiritual master. So he said, what do you think of this, Ambarish Maharaj? And I said, oh, it sounds like a very wonderful plan. And he said, good, you like it too. You can finance it. <laughs> so, you know, that was, uh, you know, and we had a laugh at that moment because I just, oh, we had just opened up Davis Sedan and I had spent quite a bit of money on that. So, but we had a laugh and somebody took a picture right at that moment and I have it on my desk at home. So it's a wonderful opportunity. Srila Prabhupada is the best and the best of the acharyas eh, and he loves us all so very much and he designed a specific program for all his disciples 
even the ones that were, you know, very difficult to categorize or, you know, were rebellious like myself, you know, but he gave us, you know, like I was saying, uh, finally somebody gave me a job. I, oops, I was never, uh, you know, capable of holding down a job. So finally, Sheila Prabhupada gave me a job that I could do and did a lot of traveling. And so I'm very, very grateful. And uh, my wife has been at my side most of the time for the last 40 years. And so she's been very, very supportive. And then, of course, Brunswick B. Lass recently has, not recently, but Brunswick B. Lass is also a firm uh, supporter. So I depend on him. I depend on my wife. And I depend on all the Vaishnavas in the world. So thank you all so very much for supporting this project and delivering uh, this dream to the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada. And uh, so I invite you all to please visit t this evening when the temple opens up to see what we're all talking about because it really is quite stunning. So. Uh, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai, my poor Dham Ki Jai, and uh, yeah, Hare Krishna, thank you so much. Haribo. Yeah. <clears throat> thank you so very much, Ambrish Prabhu. Actually, the opening is tomorrow tomorrow morning. Now, <clears throat> our next speaker for today is none other than Amrish Prabhu's wife, Swaha Mataji. She had day in and day out put so much effort in getting the interiors of Lord Narsingha Dev done. She would be doing the interiors of main temple also all the interiors she has been doing, working tirelessly, very, very hard, very dedicated to Srila Prabhupada. So I, now I would request her to inspire all of us in how she had made this impossible possible. Over to Her Grace Swaha Mataji. Krishna Pristaya Bhutale, Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swamini Tinamine, Namaste Sarasati Devi, Gauravani Pracharine, Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine, Jai Shri Krishna Chaitana Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadhar, Shivasa Di Gaur Bhakti Vrinda, Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Vancha Kalpata Rubhyascha, Kripa Sindhu Vyayevacha, Patita Nam Pavane Vyavashna Vyavashna Hare Krishna. Before I begin speaking, I was just complaining to my husband that I couldn't hear much because of the very, uh, all the echo happening. But Prabhu instructed us that when the building is completed, there will be very good acoustic tiles everywhere. So the sound is going to be perfect. Right now, I, I couldn't hear anything much he said. So I hope you will appreciate and thank you for your patience. So I wish to thank everyone to come and celebrate this momentous occasion with us of the completion of Lord Narsingadev's temple. Our hearts are overflowing with overwhelming gratitude for this opportunity to be in your august presence after four long years of separation from Sri Mayapur Dham and all of you. So we are so happy to be here. We are most grateful and welcome the GVC members, sannyasis, gurus and all the Srila Prabhupada's disciples and all the Vaishnavas present here, uh, especially 
वी आर अवेटिंग द अराइवल ऑफ हिज होलीनेस जय पताका स्वामी महाराज होलीनेस राधानाथ स्वामी महाराज इज हियर हिज होलीनेस गोपाल कृष्ण महाराज हिज होलीनेस लोकनाथ स्वामी महाराज उज विद अस हिज होलीनेस बद्री नारायण स्वामी हिज होलीनेस शिवराम स्वामी हिज होलीनेस वेद व्यास प्रिय स्वामी महाराज एज वेल एज हिज ग्रेस बाय शैशिक प्रभु एंड देयर बेटर हाफ हिज ग्रेस स्वास प्रभु माई डियर फ्रेंड मदर टीप who's in the audience his grace bhima prabhu his grace revati raman prabhu and his grace braja hari prabhu um uh, we i don't think anyone here is doubtful that pankajangri prabhu is very much present here there's no way he would miss this festival so pankajangri prabhu ki jai and we also welcome in our hearts his holiness bhaktu chari bhakti charu swami maharaj and all the maharajas before like his holiness the mal krishna go swami maharaj sridhar swami and many many others whose service and sacrifice made us made it possible for us to be here at this junction of history of our movement and the planet her grace malati devi and uh, her grace uh, uh, jamuna devi's sacrifice in the early days is very much treasured and we appreciate their contributions earlier this year the installation of lord ram in his janma bhumi shri ayodhya dham was one of the most hope giving events in the history of bharat varsha it was a long and painful struggle but finally the whole world witnessed the undying expression of human spirit sacrifice and devotion and love for lord ram similarly in this on this auspicious day has been a long time coming we thank you for your patience and thank you for coming to celebrate this much awaited festival with us we are most grateful for your support blessings and love once again the lord sudarshan chakra is lighting our path as before as when he was installed above the domes in a grand ceremony in 2018 the all auspicious presence of the sudarshan chakra in the altar building of lord narsingadev heralds the arrival of their lordships soon to grace their new home as you will see tomorrow we wish to express our heartfelt gratitude to each and every devotee in our worldwide iskon family of shrila prabhupad whose sacrifice and support has made it possible for us to celebrate this historic moment it has truly been an offering of love and cooperation that shrila prabhupad so desired we are indebted to our dear friend braj vilas prabhu for his 108% dedication to the tovp and my prabhu his unwavering support of our service is beyond compare and cannot be appreciated in mere words the sacrifice and service of his good wife anand leela devi is most admirable we are grateful to both of them i would specially like to thank and appreciate his grace sachin tanuj prabhu and his team at kushman headed by manoj prabhu for doing such a splendid job of turning our design into reality indeed our dear most lord nityananda who expands to fulfill his own prophecy has manifested it for us we are indebted to shila prabhu pad for using us as his humble instruments 
All glories to our TOVP team, headed by Prem Avatar Goranga Prabhu, Shravanananda Prabhu, and especially Radha Ballava Prabhu, who has the can-do attitude and get things done in challenging situations. Thanks to my dear friend Sadbuj Prabhu and Mother Vilasini, who I just saw, whose cooperation is especially laudable. Last but not the least, my friend and partner in design, Srimati, where is she? Rangavati Devi Dasi. Can you stand up, Mataji? Where are you? Hare Krishna? Anyway, uh, she's here. She came in with me, but who is an accomplished architect uh, trained in Russia. I strongly believe we were blessed with this service by the mercy and blessings of the senior Vaishnavas and the GBC when they were pleased with our design for Srila Prabhupada's Vyasasana. We spend hours daily over Skype over the last several years and have Zoom meetings regularly with our team. And I'm so grateful to Mataji for our hard work and dedication. We have shared moments of intense anxiety as well as joy, but always gratitude at the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada for engages, uh, engaging us in the service for the pleasure of their lordships and all the Vaishnavas. Our devotional life begins and continues for eternity at the lotus feet of our beloved founder Acharya A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. By his grace, uh, Radha Raman Prabhu's kind arrangement, we were able to visit the two holy sites most important to all his Khan devotees, the birthplace of his divine grace Srila Prabhupada, the Tali Ganj, and Ultadanga, the historic site where Srila Prabhupada first met his Divine Grace Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Maharaj. We wish to express our gratitude to all the devotees under the leadership inspiration of His Holiness Radhanath Swami Maharaj for the Herculean efforts that went into acquiring and developing both sites. Thank you for allowing us the good fortune of placing the dust that is saturated with prema from these holy sites on our heads. By Krishna's grace, we were fortunate to participate in the recent installation ceremony of the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu conducted by His Holiness Jai Pataka Swami, His Holiness Gopal Krishna Goswami, and His Holiness Radhanath Swami at the Juhu Temple. We celebrated Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Maharaj's 150th Holy Appearance Day yesterday, and we were made aware by His Holiness Jai Pataka Swami that it was Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Maharaj's desire to install the lotus feet of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at all the 108 holy places that the Lord visited. However, he had done eight, leaving with us with hundred more, and Maharaj has undertaken this service with his usual enthusiasm. We have faith that when this important service is completed, it will mark the completion of Mahaprabhu's eternal place of residence at the TOVP, Ki Jai. Sri Prahlad Narsingadev Temple Ki Jai. While studying the chapter entitled Prayers by the Personified Vedas in the 10th Canto, I was first made aware of the intense devotion of Srila Siddhar Swami towards Lord Narsingadev. He offers several beautiful, heartfelt prayers in glorification of Lord Narsingadev. There's an interesting story that I recently heard from His Grace Hari Parshad Prabhu. He quotes a conversation between Srila Sridhar Swami and a Mayavadi sannyasi in Kashi. 
The sannyasi was deriding Sridhar Swami for worshipping his deity of Lord Narsingha Dev instead of studying Vedanta and meditating on Brahman. Instead of directly replying to this offensive remark, Srila Sridhar Swami gazed lovingly at his Narsingha Dev deity and composed a verse. The translation is as follows. O oh Lord, is your spotless impersonal manifestation not always present everywhere? Even so, it has not been able to break even a small leaf from the tree of repeated birth and death. On the other hand, the moment your name is uttered by the tongue, that name thoroughly shatters the tree of repeated birth and death down to the roots. Tell us, O oh Lord, of these two, the impersonal Brahman and your holy name, who should be worshipped? In this connection, just a couple of days ago, we heard from His Holiness Guru Prasad Swami how Varanasi was surrounded by Mayavadis. And when Srila Sridhar Swami composed his commentary on the Srimad Bhagavatam, revealing the true intent of the Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the intense personal worship of the Lord, they, the Mayavadis did not want to accept it. However, when this commentary was placed before the Vishwanath deity, Lord Shiva himself composed a verse personally approving the commentary of Srila Sridhar Swami. So his commentary is respected by all commentators of the Srimad Bhagavatam and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself revered his commentary. All this happened by Srila Sridhar Swami's intense devotion and worship of Lord Narsingha Dev. We have full faith that Lord Narsingha Dev will destroy Mayavad on this planet by his potent darshan to more and more people from this temple. It was in the... I'm going to skip this part. We were very fortunate to have Pankaj Angri Prabhu and all the Pujaris of Lord Narsingha Dev instruct us in organizing the interior space of the altar building to facilitate the service of the Pujaris. On Lord Nityananda's appearance day, Jananivas Prabhu performed the ceremony of placing Ganga Jal and Ganga Sand under the Lord's sitting place. What he said afterwards relieved us of the anxiety of whether Pankajangri Prabhu would be pleased with our efforts. He said he was very pleased with everything he saw and since the two brothers are the same in mind, we felt great joy and relief. Although extremely soft-spoken, he also mentioned to my friend Vijay Radha Devi Dasi that Lord Narsingha Dev is feeling claustrophobic in his small altar room, so he will be very comfortable in his new temple. In reference to Srila pra Prahlad Maharaj audience with Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, CC Antya 910 mentions that Prahlad Maharaj Bali Maharaj, Vyasadev, Sri Sukadev Goswami and other great sages came to visit Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Upon seeing him, they became unconscious in ecstatic love. From CC Madhya 23.8, when one develops an unflinching sense of ownership and possessiveness in relation to Lord Vishnu, or in other words, when one thinks Lord Vishnu could be the only object of love, such awakening is called bhakti by exalted persons like Bhishma, Prahlad, Narada, and Uddhava. By Lord Nishinga Dev's grace, all obstacles on the path of devotional service are removed. Of course, he is most often remembered for his protection. We seek his shelter and protection daily, if not more. It is well known fact that at the Mayapur Chandrodai Mandir, compared to all the other deities, most of the personal puja is offered to Lord Narsingha Dev. 
And this is not at all surprising because we are all suffering in this material world and face danger at every step. Padam padam yad bi padam. Therefore, it made sense to offer Lord Narsingadev his own temple. Lord Narsingadev is worshipped in Sridham Mayapur with such love and devotion that he attracts the heart of everyone who has the good fortune of observing his divine and most beautiful form. He is very compassionate and has so many intimate loving exchanges with his devotees. Uh, in the lecture delivered in Vrindavan on October 6, 1976, Srila Prabhupada was saying how a Vaishnava is para dukha dukhi. He is sad to see the suffering of others. He quotes from the famous verse spoken by Sri Prahlad Maharaj in Srimad Bhagavatam 7943, where Prahlad Maharaj is expressing his compassion for all the conditioned soul. Srila Prabhupada said how Prahlad Maharaj was not at all disturbed by the attempts of his father to kill him because his consciousness was absorbed in glorifying Lord Narsinghadev. Instead, Prahlad Maharaj prays that all the suffering souls of this world be delivered by Lord Narsinghadev's mercy. Narsinghadev Bhagwan ki jai, Prahlad Maharaj ki jai. In the same mood, Srila Prabhupada wanted to offer the TOVP to the world because over 500 years ago, Lord Nityananda had predicted, Ek Adbhut Mandir Hoibe Prakash, Goranger Nitya Shiva Hoibe Vikash. An amazing temple will appear from which the eternal service of Lord Chaitanya will expand, inundating the whole world with his mercy. Completing Lord Narsingadev's temple is the first and most important step in the completion of the TOVP. All glories to Srila Prabhupada who desired and ordered us to be bold to attempt to build the TOVP. With your cooperation, this is, will certainly come to pass to benefit all of us and the whole world. TOVP ki jai, Prahlad Narsingadev ki jai, Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Vaishnav Vrinda ki jai. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much, Swaha Mataji. She is keeping the project going in a faster pace now. Very, very grateful to her. Our next speaker today, who has supported this project immensely. When we started the collection in 2010, the first person who came forward and opened the doors of his congregation. Today I'm very, very happy to say that congregation is, is the second largest donor of this project after Ambrish Prabhu. So that is none other than His Holiness Radhanath Swami Maharaj. Ki! So I would now humbly request His Holiness Radhanath Swami Maharaj to come and inspire all of us on this first day of the Grand Narsingadev Festival and tomorrow is the finale of opening the Lord Narsingadev wing. Over to His Holiness Radhanath Swami Maharaj. Timidandasya Gyananjana Chalakaya Chakshurun Militam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurabe Namaha Nama Om Vishnupadaya 
कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पश्चतारिणे वंशकूप्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता भावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम श्रीकृष्णा चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधार शिवास दि गौर्भक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे I am sincerely grateful to be among all of you and participating in this truly historical event wherein one of his divine grace AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada's primary dreams is unfolding the temple of the vedic planetarium for this we are especially grateful for the life of sacrifice of ambarish prabhu swaha devi and his holiness jai patak swami maharaj and all of their teams here in mayapur and worldwide While sitting on the stage I was reflecting on Sri Lavrapad sitting in those tiny little quarters at Radha Damodar Temple in Vrindavan contemplating meditating and praying and fulfilling the instruction of Sri Lavakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada to take krishna prema love of god as shri chaitanya mahaprabhu has given us in the mood of the residents of vrindavan to the whole world while sitting on the floor with this little manual typewriter composing translations and commentaries for Srimad Bhagavatam he had this vision and what a sacrifice he made he was the personification he is the personification of the limitless compassion of the panchatatva and all of our acharyas toward every living being within creation when he first came to mayapur it was a little rice paddy many snakes many unfavorable neighbors no money only a couple of devotees but he had this vision of this temple that we're sitting in today a place that would attract the whole world to appreciate the knowledge and the mercy of Lord Chaitanya 
it is very appropriate that the first event is the opening of Lord Narasimha Dev's temple. Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he instructed us to pray to Lord Narasimha Dev to remove the obstacles on the path of pure devotional service. Both the obstacles outside of us and within our own minds and hearts. Still, a primary reason for Lord Nursinga Dave's appearance was to glorify the qualities of Prahlad Maharaj. In the seventh canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, the vast majority of the explanation of Narsingha's pastimes is the character of Prahlad. Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is specially focused on Prahlad Maharaja's selfless compassion. His willingness to endure all types of threats, inconveniences, misunderstandings to show compassion to all beings. After Prahlad Maharaj endured difficulties inconceivable to the human mind, Lord Narasimha Dev came protect him and asked him please accept any benediction from me little Prahlad he prayed I cannot I cannot tolerate seeing people suffering without love for you my Lord I don't want liberation. Let me remain in this world to give Krishna consciousness to others. In Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Leela, the Lord especially compared Haridas Thakur to Prahlad Maharaj. Haridas Thakur is our Namacharya. The Panchatattva, Lord Chaitanya and his associates, they descended into this world to create a rainstorm of Krishna Prema, love of God, through Harinam Sankirtan the chanting of the Lord's holy names. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he proclaimed and empowered Haridas Thakur to be the Acharya to teach all people for all time to come these qualities of how to chant the holy names. And so much of how he was chanting is how he was eager at any cost to give the mercy of the holy names to others. Who could be less qualified than Hiranyakashipu? But yet Prahlad prayed for his liberation. Thakur Haridas was beaten, he was whipped, he was persecuted, he was blasphemed again and again but he was always praying <coughs> just to be an instrument to give them the happiness of Krishna consciousness this is how he chanted the holy names Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu proclaimed
that the value of everything within all the universes of his creation does not equal to one devotee like Haridas Thakur in the heart of Krishna. He said that Haridas Thakur was the crown jewel of creation because of his love and compassion. I believe that Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his glorification of Haridas Thakur he's also extolling the glories of our beloved founder Acharya Srila Prabhupada. His sacrifice of compassion, his willingness to give everyone the opportunity to receive Lord Chaitanya's mercy and to chant the holy names of Radha and Krishna really is the foundation of our lives, of our movement and is so much the purpose of this temple of Vedic planetarium. When people come here and experience the mercy of the Dham of Sri Navadweep Mayapur, associate with the devotees who are striving to live by Srila Prabhupada and our Guru Parampara's teachings, their hearts will open to read Srila Prabhupada's books, to chant the holy names of the Lord, to associate with the Lord's names and glories. This Temple of Ada Planetarium is not just a project in Bengal. It's actually Srila Prabhupada's oceanic mercy to spread to every town and village in all the world. Lord Nursinga Dev's temple is now opening. Let us um, meditate with gratitude on Srila Prabhupada's kindness to give us and the whole world entrance into the land of Navadweep and the heart of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much, His Holiness Radhana Swami Maharaj. Is this Brahman effulgence? blinding me. Can we do something about it? This is not our philosophy. But anyway, we will continue. I think this is kept for some photographic section. Um, <coughs> our next speaker today, or the final speaker for this session, without him, Mayapur is incomplete. It's incomplete and it's incomplete. Srila Prabhupada told him, I had given you kingdom of God. Take it, develop it and enjoy it. We had taken the kingdom of God. Now we are developing the kingdom of God. The first phase in this development of the kingdom of God is the temple of Vedic planetarium. I would, we will enjoy the kingdom of God by preaching the message of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in every town and village. 
సో దట్ ఈస్ హిస్ హోలీనెస్ జయప్రతక స్వామి మహారాజ్ కిస్ అవర్ నెక్స్ట్ స్పీకర్ హ్యాండ్ ఓవర్ దిస్ టు హిస్ హోలీనెస్ జయప్రతక స్వామి మహారాజ్ to inspire all of us in this celebrations today celebration of the narsingh dev festival yes maharaj we start we start krishna padaya krishna prasthaya bhutale శ్రీవాతి వాతి వేదంత స్వామే నీతి నామిస్తే సారస్వతి దేవే గౌరవాని ప్రచారిణేష సున్నదాది పాశ్చాత్య దేశతారిణే చైతన్న ప్రభు నిత్యానంద శ్రీయాదైతాగోదరోషిదీ గౌరభక్తవృంద హే కృష్ణ హే కృష్ణ 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 హరి హరే రామ హే రామ 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 హరి హరే హరే నమ కృష్ణ యదవాయ నమ శ్రీమధుసూదన పంగుం లంగాయతే గిరిం చిదాతే శ్రీ గురూన్ దీన తారిణం పరమానందమాధవం శ్రీ చైతన్య ఈశ్వరం స్వామి my respects to his holiness radhanath swami my grace for honor for ru and rolas and uh, their graces amrish prabhu and swaha mata ji so today we are well singing of it you heard very nice appreciations of lord narsimha dev Lord Narsingh Dev and his God when Prabhupada was sick we used to chant Narsingh Dev in his con when Shri Prabhupada was sick we would chant Narsimh Dev prayers my Lord we were facing different attacks and problems in mayapur we were facing different attacks different problems so we installed narsimha dev so we installed narsimha dev after his installation things became much more peaceful and after his installation things became much more peaceful Next time he teach him to all the arts how to meditate they explain that he is teaching pralad maharaj how to meditate remember pralad one the same my singer there he said i haven't seen my uncle my uncle was reverend here on yaksha He was raised by Radha. So Narsimha Dev was saying to Pralad Maharaj that your uncle Hiranyaksha was liberated by Varaha Dev. So in the circle of what now? Narsimha Dev took the head of Radha. Radha. 
So there in, in Vishakapatnam, Varaha Dev took the body there, so he is Varaha Narsimha Dev. So there are various Narsimha Dev. Narsimha Dev is the last name. They have installed in our Delhi temple. The Narsimha Dev with Lakshmi, they have installed in our Delhi temple. That's the uh, most peaceful Narsimha. That's the most peaceful Narsimha Dev. But our Narsimha is Stanu Narsimha. But our Narsimha is Thanu Narsimha. He just came out of the of the column. He just came out of the column. He's looking where's the demon? He is looking where is the demon Hiranyakashipu. And uh, the, so he is considered the most most Ugra Narsimha. So he is considered the more Ugra Narsimha. What? So after that, very few fields. But after that, there were very few thieves. So Narsimha, he is known to remove all the obstacles. Narsimha Dev, he is known to remove all the obstacles. Uh, I don't know if there are any obstacles. I don't know if there are any obstacles. But if there are, but if there are, they will certainly be removed. By Lord they will certainly be removed by Lord Narsimha Dev. So, after years of service, attempts, uh, the temple is approaching completion. After several attempts, the temple is approaching the completion. And we are trying to uh, design and build the west wing. We are trying to design and complete the west wing. But in this temple, there's a chandelier of the In this temple, there would be a chandelier of the cosmos. And in the, in the west window, explain what the, what the chandelier means. And in the west wing, we will explain what the chandelier means. Also, all the things that Prabhupada wanted. Also, all the things that Prabhupada wanted. <laughs> So that we are all looking at the appearance of Lord Narsimha So we are all looking up for the appearance of Narsimha Dev. I came last night, I saw the wonderful altar of Narsimha Dev. I came last time and I saw the wonderful altar of Narsimha Dev. The design is uh, truly wonderful. The design is truly wonderful. And Narsimha Dev, he has a much bigger space. And Narsimha Dev, he has a much bigger space. He is a bit cramped where he is. He is a bit cramped where he is. He is a bit cramped for years. So he would like to come to this temple. So in the east wing, they have done a nice arrangement for Lord Narsimha Dev. So in the east wing, they have done a very nice arrangement for Lord Narsimha Dev. And by his, by his presence, all the obstacles. 
for his trouble will be removed. And by his presence, all the obstacles for this temple would be removed. Each avatar has a particular mood. Each avatar has a particular mood. And the singer there is atrocious, so he is looking for the demons. And Narsim Dev is approaching, looking where the demons are. But Lord Chaitanya and Panchatattva, their mood is how to give the heart to mercy, how to deliver the fallen soul. But Lord Chaitanya and Panchatattva, their mood is to how to give out the mercy how to deliver the fallen conditioned souls. And Father Arnav was a Sakhi, Arnav Chandra, and Lord is also to, to demonstrate love and give love to the Fallen soul through a surrender by and, Lord Chaitanya's mercy. And Radha Madhav, Asta Sakhis, Mayapur Chandra, they also have a mood to reciprocate, to show love and distribute love what Lord Chaitanya is spreading. So they are called Madhurya Rasa. So they are called Madhurya Rasa. Lord Chaitanya, Madhurya Rasa. Lord Chaitanya Odarya Rasa. And today we have the Shingade. He's giving us transcendental protection to this temple. And today Narsimadev, he is giving us transcendental protection. My Lord. Reborn. All. So I don't, I'm not repeating all the. Because uh, this evening, I think. The only Dr. Ru is going to tell the history of the devil. So I'm he, not I'm not repeating much because this evening Jananivas Prabhu will be telling the history of Narsim Madev. And Alvar Prabhu and Sahadevi Dasi, they have been telling much about the voice of Lord Nasigani. And Ambrish Prabhu and Swaha Mataji, they have been telling much about Lord Narsimhadev. And also, uh, 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 also Radhanath Swami. Tells a lot. You see, Radhanath Swami, the name itself tells a lot. Radha Nath. Radha Nath. Krishna. <coughs> Krishna is the Nath of Radha. Krishna is the Nath of Radha. The Radhanath Swami. Yes, revealing to us how to serve Radha and Krishna. So Radhanath Swami is telling us how to serve Radha and Krishna. But today he also told us about Narsimhadev. But today he also told us about Narsimhadev. So we want you all to pray and do whatever you can. So we want all of you to pray and do whatever all you can to bring all the deities here to to bring all the deities here well, all the here so we can have all our artis mangal artis all the other artis here hi krishna hare krishna
थैंक यू सो वेरी मच महाराज इस वो लेना जय पता स्वामी महाराज खे अवर नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द मॉर्निंग सेशन इज संकुस्थापना बिफोर वी प्रोसेड आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन in order to build this temple ambrish prabhu gave a seed money of 30 million dollars a big hari bol after that he personally traveled along with janani vas prabhu is here traveled all over the world raising money to build this temple and we went to temples congregations yatras everybody had come forward in helping this temple of vedic planetarium shila prabhupad he said sources of fund means you go to all of our centers and all of our centers will gladly contribute and we see that is what is happening today in order to appreciate in order to appreciate show our gratitude to this temples yatras organization we wanted to do a grand puja and offer all the donors we see here there is a golden brick all the donor name has been inscribed on the golden brick this is we have a golden brick more than 50000 bricks so many donors we are only now place the golden brick for lord narsing dev which will go under the altar so there are many many devotees who have participated and made this happen for the pleasure of his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami shila prabhupad so today i just wanted to mention a few and call them on stage and hand over a memento a gift as an appreciation so this we would be doing in the evening session tomorrow session tomorrow evening session for all those large donors who's keeping this alive so the first appreciation which we wanted to show is the bbt the bhakti vedanta book trust we have his grace bima prabhu and savas prabhu here representing the bbt we would like to invite bima prabhu and savas prabhu on stage so ambrish prabhu and jaypata gamaraj would give a special gift can you show the gift a special gift specifically made for the bbt as true follower of shila prabhupad orders they will get this beautiful nod nursing the altar a beautiful gift and you have lord nursing the placed in this altar we're grateful to bbt all these years when this project started bbt the bhakti vedanta book trust which had almost given 50% of their income or revenue to build this temple and still today it is going on so very very grateful to the bhakti vedanta book trust please give a big round of applause for bhakti vedanta book trust is holiness so, japataka swami maharaj would give to bima prabhu want to bima japataka maharaj would give hand over
we can all do better than this. Let us enthusiastically. Ulu Dhoni. Thank you so very much, Bhima Prabhu and Savas Prabhu for helping us. Grateful to you. In fact, Bhima Prabhu um, had given me a box with the names of the Badra Purnima book distributors who are distributing these books and Vaisheshika Prabhu would place those box in tomorrow in Narsingadeva altar for all those devotees who have went all around the place to distribute books and their names have been put in this box which will be offered to Lord Nursing Dev tomorrow at 10 a.m. before the procession. Next. Yeah, yeah. Next, I would request Brajhari Prabhu from Iskan Juhu. Is he here? Brajhari Prabhu, one of the great support. Whenever I'm falling short, I used to visit Mumbai, Juhu Temple, and I used to tell Prabhuji that please help us out. So Brajhari Prabhu, a strong pillar in supporting the Temple of Vedic Planetarium, and did a great service to keep flowing of funds and manifesting this temple into reality. Please give a big hands. His Holiness Radhanath Swami Maharaj will give this gift to Brajahari Prabhu. The next Yatra The next Yatra the Middle East Yatra. Is Sri Vallabh Prabhu here? Is not here now? Okay, if he is not here, then I would move to the greatest support in all this year during Tartik month where we used to go and campaign every Kartik in Sridham Vrindavan. His Grace Pancha Gauda Prabhu gladly opened his doors. Even though he had projects, new project, the Krishna Balram Cultural Center, every year, irrespective of whether he need to collect or not, he helped us. He opened the door every year to the Temple of Vedic Planetarium. Such a great support. So we would like to welcome Panchakoda Prabhu and we have along with him we have His Holiness Janadan Swami Maharaj we have him here. Yeah he can also come and get a gift from Swaha Mataji. Yeah. Panchakoda Prabhu. Panchagaura Prabhu ki. Now I would like to invite some individuals who have done a very significant contribution to this project. Very significant. Um, I would like to call upon Arjun Hari Prabhu who is here with us. Very great support. Whenever I see him, he used to give me a welcome check. Wherever I see him, I only know welcome drink. This is a welcome check. So, I would like to call Arjun Hari Prabhu, a great supporter of this project.
his disciple of his holiness gopal krishna goswami maharaj is done many service in delhi punjabi bag and other areas is a very good friend of us the vvp so his holiness radhanath swami maharaj would give the gift to arjun hari prabhu arjun hari prabhu ki is brajapati there or stewart is not there brajapati prabhu or is he huh? i would like to invite brajapati prabhu a friend of tvp and uh, working with sobhas prabhu helping the project did a great support to this temple is in la under the leadership of sawas prabhu he helped us tremendously in our campaign uh in 2022 when we were in america and even before in the first campaign a greatest support brajari prabhu brajpati prabhu has done for this project please give me a big round of applause ambrish prabhu would give a gift in honor of brajpati prabhu for his service to the temple of vedic planetarium he should come with his wife but is yet come alone oh yes here his wife is here okay i would like to invite another devotee she was saying to me yesterday whenever i see you i have to give money to you then panchagoda prabhu was asking why don't you give vrindavan some money and she was saying that you don't have smile like brajvilas if you have the same smile then i will give it to you but right now he needs the most so i would like to invite pushpavan prabhu a unsung hero a unsung hero and his good wife please come on stage and get your gift from swaha mata ji i think you you, you can clap loudly <laughs> lastly for today because i'm i'm going to do this every time i want to invite two personalities first one is His Holiness Lokanath Swami Maharaj. He has opened Maharashtra for us. He told all the temple leaders, the TVP team is coming. You cannot do less than a crore. He has set a target, and everybody was shivering. He said, "Nothing doing. You have to do this." So I invite His Holiness Lokanath Swami Maharaj. On stage. Thank you so very Maharaj for a greater support for your support of the Temple of Vedic Planetarium. We have one more gift, right? Amrish Prabhu would give the gift. The next personality, the last personality for this session, is His Grace Vaisheshika Maharaj. Is here. He has opened his doors many times. Probably his doors is always open. A great supporter, friend of the TVP. Very very happy 
very good congregation everybody in the congregation they cannot live without giving such a great contribution this temple had done in silicon valley i hope all the viewers who are seeing in silicon valley this is a time to complete your pledges also you have done a lot and we are very very grateful to all those devotees in silicon valley so his grace vaisheshika maharaj please get your gift from his grace ambrish prabhu and swaha mata ji so to show our gratitude to all the small donors medium donors and even the big donors we are going to have this tankus stapana vastu mandala puja ananta shaligram puja narsinga brig puja everything will be done now to show our respect and gratitude to all these donors who have helped and kept this project going we have one more last gift for this session i was just reminded i wanted to call shudi prabhu is shudi prabhu here shudi prabhu every year every year he cannot live without giving every year such a great support and he preaches to everybody to give to the temple of vedic planetarium he told me yesterday he said somebody that i have invested my money they asked him where did you invest he said i have invested my money in bricks they said what bricks he said yes the bricks in the temple of vedic planetarium this is the best investment shudi prabhu please clap loud for shudi prabhu these are all for very large donations so to show gratitude to all the donors whatever size it might be it might be even a dollar we are showing gratitude by doing this sankustapana vastu mandala puja ananta shaligram puja and narsing dev brick puja just before that puja i wanted to read out to you the remaining program 1 pm or 120 pm is the lunch for all the visiting devotees uh shila prabhupad disciples at um the radha rasamrita in gada and those who are staying in namahata will take prasadam in namahata those who are staying in geeta bhavan will take prasadam at geeta bhavan those who are staying in gada bhavan will take prasadam at gada bhavan this is only for visiting devotees today prasadam tomorrow prasadam is for everybody today is only for visiting devotees and uh, today evening at 5 pm 4 pm is the kirtan we are starting with the kirtan 5 pm we are having cultural program we have dasa avatar dance first we will have odissi dance then the next one is dasa avatar dance by prince dance group from orissa then we have a sankalp samarpan utsav where everybody who has taken a pledge will be committing to finish this project timely then we will have talks by the iskon leaders we will have his grace janani vas prabhu speaking about how lord narsingh dev had come to sri damayapur joined along with him is jayapataka swami maharaj the past times of lord narsingh dev in fact his grace pankaj angri prabhu was the head pujari of lord narsingh dev temple he is not with us but he is spiritually with us here today um but to commemorate and celebrate the opening of the lord narsingh dev wing and the past times how it all happened janani was prabhu 
tremendously sacrificed he would not leave out of mayapur to travel to any other country he gave up that promise he traveled with us in 2015 from that time onwards he is traveling all over the world collecting lakshmi to complete this temple and this manifestation of the narsingadev temple close towards completion was his brothers pankajangri is grace pankajangri prabhu's desire so we are very very grateful to hear from janani vas prabhu in the evening session and also taking the mood of janani vas prabhu and pankajangri prabhu her grace swaha mata ji has beautifully designed this narsingadev temple this is very beautiful this is one of its kind never seen anywhere in india so she will describe what went in to making this building this wing for lord narsingadev she will do that um after that we have a drama by the smiths student sri mayapur international school at 7:30 pm so with this we will go to our the sanku sthapana vastu mandala puja ananta shale gram puja narsing dev brick puja we are very very grateful to all the devotees for their support in the evening session tomorrow morning session tomorrow afternoon session also we are going to distribute gifts so if you are a big donor and if you have not got the gift right now don't worry the gift is there for you will definitely deliver it to you and you see you get our appreciation so over to krishna chaitanya prabhu and maharaj here to start to show our gratitude to all these donors keeping this project alive thank you all so very much shila prabhu pad ke hare krishna prajavilas prabhu ke is grace ambrish prabhu ki jai ृतम दिवी 
त्रिपाद ऊर्ध्वोदयत परशह पाद स्वेहाभवत परह ततो विश्वम व्यक्रामद साशनान शने अभी तस्माद विराड जायता कृष्ण प्रस्थाय भूतले सीमाते भक्ति वेदन्तो स्वामीने तिनामीने नमस्ते सरस्वते देवे गौरवानि प्रचारिने निर्विशेष सुन्नवादि असत्तदेशतारिने बंचा कल्पतरुभश्च कृपासिंधु भयेवच पतितानं आवनिभो बैष्णवे पंचतत्त्वात्मकं कृष्णं भक्तरूपो शरूपकं भक्तयवतारं भक्तक्षं नमः भक्तशोकं Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare Hare 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा शीला प्रभुपाद के नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्प्रिंकल दिस होली वाटर ऑन ऑल दी ब्रिक्स दिस ब्रिक्स आर डोनर ब्रिक्स द गोल्डन ब्रिक्स वेर ऑल दी डोनर नेम हैव बीन इंस्क्राइब ऑन दिस ब्रिक्स सो द holy water and all this bricks will be sprinkled right now this is the puja showing gratitude to all of our donors all over the world wherever you are all your names are going to be read today and tomorrow in the fire yagya tomorrow and these bricks are going to be placed after this ceremony is done so we are remembering all the donors who have supported the temple of vedic planetarium we are very very grateful to you and our only reciprocation which we can give to you is you keep donating and never stop helping shila prabhupad to build this temple the temple of vedic planetarium thank you
Everybody please sing loudly Dava kar kamala vare nagha
Narsingadev Bhagavan Ake. Thank you all so very much. We conclude this session and we are very, very grateful to all the donors we have done as we promised to you. Our gratitude in these bricks. We have done the puja and there will be a private ceremony of placing these bricks. Of course, 10,000 bricks is going to take some time. But there will be a private ceremony in placing these bricks under the altar. And with this, all those assembled here, all those watching online, offline, any line, you have a perfect line with the temple of Vedic Planetarium. So let us end this session and we will assemble here at 4 p.m. with Bhajan and Kirtan. Afterwards, cultural programs. Don't miss the cultural program. There are devotees doing Odyssey dance. Afterwards, Prince Dance Group doing Dasa Avatar dance. An amazing performance. Afterwards, talks on how Lord Narsingadev, pastimes, how he had appeared in Sridham Mayapur. So thank you all so very much. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada Kai. Thank you. Hare Krishna.